Hello and welcome back to Caves of Good. We are going to be doing Golgotha. You know, I was going to say in the last episode, but I got heavily distracted. Um, that in a weird way, this, uh, this series is very much a flip in the, flip in the script on, on me playing Cud. Because unlike um, every series I've done of Cud, where the story has been the main focus, the, the, the dungeons have been the, the main goal to defeat. Um, now I have a completely different goal and the story almost feels like a distraction. Like it almost feels like this is unrelated to our actual activity. Now we're already in trouble here. Can we do a discharge? That was pretty good. Um, I should have... If that small stone from Kyokyukya was actually a recoiler, then I should have bought it because that is going, that w they, they offer a pretty good recipe for, um, for, for diseases. Um, I also don't have any witchwood bark. Hoping I can, yeah, find a safe spot. Nice. There's these uh, little dudes, but they're not too bad. I'm more worried about this dude at the top here. Can we... Yeah, okay, nice. Now, resting in horrible goo. Probably not the best way to, uh, you know, recover. But what choice do I have, you know? Uh, so I'm pretty sure when they're yellow, they're about to discharge. Hey, okay, there's some robots. This is actually a really nice safe spot. We're getting some really good um, XP down here. Honestly, I'm very early for Golgotha. Level 16? Let me see. What What is the... Um, what's the... Where's the reward? Bonus reward for completing the quest by level 12. Okay, so never mind. We're actually quite late. Uh, I've never gotten the extra reward for completing Golgotha before level 12. I think if you have done that, congratulations. Probably... I'll tell you what. It would be very doable if you had wings. Wings... Um, defeating Golgotha is kind of a joke. Yeah, we need to... We actually have resistance to uh, acid because of my named location item. I guess I could just call it a named item. So acid, not, not much of a threat for us, which is really nice because it means I don't have to worry too much about our uh, armor, I think. Okay, if I see this log, I'm not going to make any efforts to befriend them this time. I, I don't have any of the necessary equipment. We leveled up. Nice. Um, and we do have Temporal Fugue. Temporal Fugue and Chain Gun should do the job for, for Slog. We shouldn't have to worry too much about the Slog at all. So I'm going to repair the droid and pick it up. Um, it's a shame I'm coming down here now. I, if I had just a little bit more, um, skill points, I could take Tinker. Wait. Oh, we have Scavenger. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that's, that's actually great. Um, that's what I really wanted. I mean, I guess if I wanted more, I could take, uh, Trash Divining. That would be nice, but, you know, you can't have everything. You can just have, like, mostly everything. We already have a sore throat, by the way, in case, in case you missed that. So, possibly have to deal with that. Not super keen. Miner's helmet. Lacquered metal bracelet. A uh, slender lacquered wrist fan. Slackered? Slender lacquered. Get 
Um, and we don't necessarily want that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not thrilled about sore throat, but I'm not sure. Like, you just, it, it's, it's a reality you have to accept when you come down to Golgotha, is you're probably gonna leave with a non-consensual disease. <clears throat> we can absolutely take measures. There's the slog. We're gonna go ahead and temporal fugue now. There we go. And we have butchering, so I will butcher the slog for a nice extra goodie. It's a little grisly killing the slog. I somewhat feel bad about it. Like, I don't know. The slog is very much, you know, moisturizing, staying in their lane. Um, why didn't I pick up the anunculus? You know, they're they're uh, they're in their happy place. Golgotha is their home. I'm sure there's a, a lot of lore to suggest that the slog doesn't like being in Golgotha, and in fact, you know, they they uh, would prefer to leave. They don't want to be here no more. And maybe Golgotha is their prison. Um, there's a lot of lore. But, you know, on the face of things, I can't imagine a better place for the slog. You know? They're just down here making their soup. And, uh, good for them. You know? They don't, they don't need to be worrying. Okay, we're gonna head back up. And then we're gonna try and make peace with our gods and uh, our sore throat here. So the first thing we want to do is grab some water, which we do not have a lot of. We are very low on water. And clean all our items. So we're good. Our crocusins are pretty dirty. And actually that's fine because we sh shouldn't have been wearing those. We should have been wearing steel boots instead. So we're actually at 11 AV. Um, you know, I just realized even if we get... Hmm. This is the one benefit of Amphibious. Even if we get the dreaded um, disease, I forget what it's called. You know the one. Um, if we get it, it won't be a big deal because we don't actually... We don't... Uh, sate our thirst via drinking orally we don't we don't drink we uh moisturize so um it would actually not be that big of a deal what would what's the really the worst part the worst part is our tongue will fall off regardless of how we consume our water we do need our tongue so you know that's that's a thing but you know i don't know i don't know we we, we got to deal with this right now is what i'm saying <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and uh, cook ingredients or choose ingredients to cook with. Uh, you know what I'm going to, I'm going to do here. I'm going to do star apple jam and vine away for sheaf. Never use a salve or uber nostrum. You don't thirst. That's not what we want. This is going to take a, a couple of times. What I will do is I'm going to eat um, some yuck wheat stem. You only need to eat some yuckweed stem. That's just going to, like, offer the possibility of not getting the disease. It seems I can't eat any more food. So that's a problem. Um, but the, uh, the, the ideal food is from Star Apple Jam, which is basically whenever you thirst, you remove a, a negative effect. Um, it's a it's a pretty high chance. It's not like whenever it's like 25% chance and then you just keep drinking water until you uh, Lose your sore throat, but it seems I cannot eat anymore. I'm sated. I'm very sated So let's go ahead and just head on home to grit gate For now and I'll just have to hope I'll have to I'll eat some yuck wheat stem occasionally and we'll just we'll just hope Okay, um, so who do we, t who do we want, need to talk to? 
Oh, right. We should do an exploration of Great Gate. Do we want to make friends with you? Disliked by robots. Disliked by goat folk. I need both of those. Sorry, friend. Can't make friends with you this time. But we'll com I'll complete the thing, and I got a masterwork scoped uh, carbine, which is great. Um, so I'm 100% going to equip that. Wait, that's not a pistol, is it? This is why I always go rifle. Is because the pistol is uh, kind of outmatched by the carbine a little bit. The fact that they give you a carbine. You know what? This You could consider this a request. It would be nice if um, your reward was a choice between a masterwork car scoped carbine or a chain pistol. Because I would probably take the chain pistol if I was going pistols. I feel like guns akimbo with a chain, two chain pistols might be better in some ways than the scoped carbine. Um, you can have accomplished your task, decoding the signal. So now we'll go talk to uh, Q-Girl. Are you worth making friends with? Hated by the villagers, disliked by Beatles. Um, alright. Admired by the Ayazopar's husband family for developing a quantum mechanical model. Uh, your thirst is mine. I have a secret to share with you. I have another secret to share with you. Um, we could learn how to make ma mod with masterwork, but I, I uh, let's see what you have for trade. Oh right, she always has um some really decent gemstones. I think I'd like to. Well, the, uh, with no point in trading the slogs and unculus because that is basically trade fodder. Uh, so we're good, actually. We could trade, um, some cured dong gliders, but those are zero weight, so no point. That's basically trade fodder as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not, we're, we're, we're kind of sitting pretty right now. Like, the best thing we could trade is actually the Masterwork Scoped Carbine. Let's have a quick look here. Um, th there's actually no good way for me to determine what would be better. Uh, chain pistol or and a painted chrome revolver or the scoped carbine like the best I can do is look Accuracy low, but I'm pretty sure my accuracy is improved um, because I am uh, you know, I spec'd out to Use pistols, right? If I go to master Carb scope carbine, it's got a better penetration just like right away So that's worth um, noting. It's also well. It's also accuracy low it bears the mark of Sparafusile. I've never noticed that before. It's more likely to score critical hits. This weapon has increased accuracy. That's right. It's not just a, a carbine. It's a masterwork scoped carbine. So, like, it's got pretty good stats. It's, it's probably worth, you know, specking. But I don't want to. You know, I really don't want to. So I'm going to grab the Yuckwheat Stem and the star apples. And uh, do we have, can we eat again? No. So we'll just, um, what we'll do is I'll preserve most of my yuckweed stem. Say like six. If I'm not cured by the time I've eaten both those yuckweed stems, then we're in trouble. Um, let's go talk to Darty. Where is he? Okay, we'll have to explore. He's sleeping. Darty do be sleeping. Where are you, Darty? Oh, um, because it comes up a lot, uh, if you're wondering how I bring up that extra dialogue, it's the backspace key. All right, um, do you have anything cool? Data disk reinforced. That's kind of nice. Not really what I want or need, but it's kind of cool. I wonder what salt hopper chip gives you. Uh, simple taste based effects. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, we'll take talk to Jacobo. I, I basically want to make friends with everyone, but I also wanted to trade. Just to see, antimatter cell. That's, I think, the best cell you can have in the game. 
Ninefold boots are okay, I think. I do like mirror shades. I did, uh, I, I would like to do another flash grenade run. Refractive, oh, that's kind of nice. Refra refract uh, light based effects. Um, as I understand it, it's a very low chance of refraction. Okay, so we're pretty much good here. Our next task is to go to Bethesda Susa, which is not going to happen for a very long time. So let's go to Deva. And I kind of think at this point I might, um, well, we have no money. I, I should have sold some things. So I'll go to our Dromad and sell some things. Um, I kind of want to just explore the salt desert for a little while. But I might actually check out some of those um, goat folk villages. Like the thing is I need, I need some, um, some love injectors in order to get a lot of this going. And I don't have any right now. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a bummer slash problem. Let's sell this fungicide grenade. I don't plan on making use of that. We can sell the dormant way droid. Uh, we'll sell a copper nugget. And, uh, look at that. We have the, we, we're going to get the perfect amount of water. Um... They have a weird artifact, which I would like to know what it is. So let's uh, let's go ahead and check out the desert. You know what? I, I, like I have to rely on some of my old mainstay um, tactics, which is like safe progression in some ways. Only because like is is you know even though some of the threat has been removed in that I am, um, you know I, I'm playing on role play mode. That doesn't mean I want to like ram my face into a cheese grater in the form of, uh, you know, g going and fighting something I'm clearly not prepared for and uh, repeatedly dying. We just found a village, which is nice. I uh, Completely by accident. So we'll explore this and we'll talk to someone. We are hungry, um, so let's see if we can't... Uh, well, well, they'll they'll likely have a campfire somewhere. Hopefully, somewhere. No. Oh, it's right there. An oven, I mean. Um. So what's slaw warmth? I kind of don't want to risk eating it because I'm, I'm running into danger. The danger zone here. Choose ingredients to cook with. Um. We're gonna do the. Classic vine wafer sheaf and star apple jam. Uh, North 14 to natural healing rate. That's not really what we want. So we're going to choose ingredients and we're going to do star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf. Whenever you use a salve injector, you don't thirst for the next 12 hours. Not what we want. So we're going to try again. We're just looking for that triple cherry on the, on the slot machine here. Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a 25% chance you heal. That's not what we want. What? No. No. And that was our last chance. Okay, well, what we're going to do is I'm going to eat some uh, yuck wheat stem. And I guess last time I should have done this after I was no longer able to eat any food. Um, bummer. There's a lot of staircases leading down uh, in this zone. Are there new tiles or like uh, sprites for like pottery? Because there's some there's some really intricate looking tiles that I've, I don't think I've seen before. Um, let's talk to the mayor. Uh, what kind of rep do you have? Disliked by the Cabal, disliked by the Merchants Guild. I, I don't mind making friends with you. Oh, and I got a hundred rep for unshelled reptiles. Amazing. Um, this guy is no, not, not really that strong, but we're going to go ahead and ask him for work. Oh, I need to talk to Quinn Pui Pui. 
I don't know, that's not how you say it, but that's what, how I'm going to pronounce it. Quinn Pui Pui. Looking for work. Uh, they want to know where a Dromad Caravan is, so I will definitely check that out. We can do that. We'll do that right now. Why not? So, um, how, what is my clue to find this Dromad? Three to seven parasangs west of some forgotten ruins. So, let's look at our ruins. Um, I guess we only know of this forgotten ruins. So, four parasangs west and four parasangs north of Red Rock. And so, we gotta go find that, and then we have to travel three to seven parasangs west. Yeah, all right. Oh, we noticed some ruins nearby in the salt desert. Discover Chromium Barrow Demu. Oh, there's a becoming nook here. And uh, some dong gliders. I'm gonna let them kill the mysterious stranger so that I don't make friend uh, enemies to the mysterious stranger. And I will uh, dislodge the dong glider from their own mortal coil. Oh, look at that carbide hammer. Solid. Uh, we'll eventually, at some point, consider the possibility of dual wielding. Because, well, uh, you know, we are a multi-limbed character, and so having uh, more than one... The ability to attack with more than one arm is definitely the goal. But I do know that there are... There's a lot of, like, question marks when it comes to dual wielding and multiple arms. Multiple arms and dual wielding kind of synergize, but not as much as you'd think or hope. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really work as much as you'd want. Like, multiple arms gives you the opportunity to attack multiple times per turn, right? And then dual wielding um, gives you an ability that attacks with every single available limb. So in that sense, yes, they do synergize, but it doesn't work as much as you'd think. Like, you, um, dual wielding doesn't give you an extra passive to, like, attack with every single arm per turn. I'm pretty sure it's only two. Of course, I get into these conversations when it comes to skills, and then I say a thing, and then people correct me because I'm wrong. So let me just, before I get too much into this, let's, uh, let me have a quick look here. Two weapon fighting, your chance to attack with an offhand weapon is increased. So, like, that is kind of vague. An offhand weapon could mean any of your other weapons. Your chance to strike with an offhand weapon increases. Um, so, I mean, like, but does that mean once? Does that mean multiple times? Does that mean with every offhand weapon? Probably not. Ambidextrous, uh, amb ambidextrity, ambidex parody shoot um gives us more uh 55 percent chance um flurry's clue flurry's cooldown is reduced by 10 so flurry is what gives us uh lets us attack with everything and then two weapon fighting lets us attack with an offhand weapon increase of 75 so like but the thing is is i think um uh, multiple arms gives you a better chance of each extra arm to deliver an extra melee attack. Like, getting uh, dual wielding isn't as important as improving multiple arms, uh, like, level, as I understand it, because multiple arms uh, has a better chance of giving, giving you the dream of attacking with every arm as opposed to with dual wielding. It's, a, it's weird, and I don't fully understand it clearly. <laughs> Um, but, you know, it's, it, it does kind of work. I just, uh, so, okay, so, we're, we're gonna try this technique again. This time it's the same, the row, because we're going west, so I have to figure out, uh, which row am I on. Am I on the middle? Um, am I on the, um, top? So this looks like... Okay, so I'm still I'm still in the same tile. So I'm gonna go north again, and see if I. Okay, so I'm I'm still in the same tile. That means the forgotten ruins is on the bottom row. So um, we can go. I contracted Glotrod. 
<sighs> well, it's too bad I don't need the achievement for getting Glot Rod because I already I already got that achievement actually. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to go to Kikuka. We'll have to put a pause on some of this stuff. The nice thing is it doesn't, um, yeah, our, we, we are, uh, we're not okay. Our tongue is falling off. Luckily, we're not, like, um, ruining all of our water. That's the worst part, for sure, about Glot Rot, is destroying all of your water, and yeah, um, Amphibian, as much as I have been complaining about it, does save us from that unfortunate feature of Glot Rot. Um, because we're not drinking water in order to get our moisture, we are, in fact, um, you know, pouring it onto ourselves. Yeah, so if I don't cure Glot Rot soon, uh, my tongue is going to fall off. Um, not a pleasant thing at all. You are famished. Alright, well, we'll eat some food. I tried. Y you can't say I didn't try. I, I ate the yuckwheat stem and I tried to get the recipe with um, star apple jam and it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Master is work is a carry rifle. Okay, let's go ahead and treat that with disregard. Doing a thing I should never do, which is hold the button down. Oh, hey, there's the Dromad Caravan. All right. Do you have anything cool? No, not really. Oh, you have a carbide hammer. Um, should I buy that? Probably not. Probably not. Although I do have a cybernetic I could get rid of for that. Although the cybernetic is doing just fine in my inventory. <laughs> um, we could sell a couple of chem cells, get a carbide hammer. Sure, why not? Pony over 54 grams, that's why not. I don't know why I thought that those were equal in value. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We need to sell some stuff. What can we sell? I'm not selling my bone meal. Bone meal is best meal. I'm not selling my masterwork scoped carbine, despite the fact that it is worthless to me. It's not worthless to me. It's just I don't want to. That's it. All right, so now I have to go back to that village. Really? I, I, I say I have to go back to the village. What village? Bamu. I have to go back to Bamu. Um, ba -ba -ba, named okay, settlements. Bamu. There it is. I don't want to stop traveling. I don't want to stop traveling. I don't want to stop traveling. No. So, my tongue is gone. Solid. <laughs> Wait, does this mean I can't hand in this quest? I swear to God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, that means we have to go to eat Freehold to regenerate our tongue. That is after we've cured Glot Rot. Let's see how much of a pain that's going to be. And yeah, I am going to do that right now. Oh man, Glot Rot. Glot Rot, why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be like this? I don't, I don't care for it. It's not cool. Just be cool, Glot Rot. Glot Rot is, has absolutely zero chill. Glot Rot is just... 100% not, not a homie. Glotrot is not a friend. 
I, I would go as far as to say Glot Rot is an enemy. I would go as far as to say that Glot Rot is the antithesis to joy. Uh, Glot Rot is everything bad and wrong in the world. No, yeah, that's too far. I'm sorry, Glot Rot. You're not that bad. There's plenty of worse things than you. Given it two seconds of thought, I, you know, I'd be grateful to get Glot Rot over other things. Not in real life. I mean, like, you know, if we're going like that route. Yo, top 10 diseases that you would o be okay getting from Caves of Cud in real life. None of them. <laughs> Number one, none of them. They are all bad. Stop this, please. Number two. <laughs> Oh god. Legendary boar. We're checking out we're not we're not checking this out. I'm just marking it on my map. Yo, draw a mad caravan. Why not? Right here. Well at least we can still trade. That would honestly be the worst is if not only can you not hand in quests when you have glot rot, but you can't trade. Scaled steel buckler. Kind of tempted, honestly. Why yo, why is every Troman caravan selling grit gate recoilers? Is this a bug? Does this need to be fixed? Does this uh does this need to be fixed? Um sell stun gas grenade, I suppose. We need more water. Running out of water. There are hostiles nearby. Have mercy on me. I have glot rot. Imagine that, you know, you're surrounded by, like, snap jaws. And they're like, Yo, give me your money. Give me your water. And you're like, come on, dude. I, I have glot rot. And they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, leave this guy alone. He's not okay. <laughs> Yo, you want a hot beverage with some honey? That would be fantastic. I would appreciate that. Yo, if that cicada could shut the hell up, honestly, right now, I would be vastly happier. No, that was not permission to go again, my dude. Oh, we don't have any money, though. I don't want to sell any books. Um, I guess I'll sell a chem cell. Yeah. Alright, we have bought the Corpus Colias. Um, now we're gonna read this. Monochrome Glot Rot. Um, common red remedies. Somewhat effective. Uh, one part wine, one part blood, three parts cider. Huh. Drink from a flaming vessel. Uh, what do you mean the uber nostrum tonic may be administered? Oh, I see. Okay, the this will part me with the disease. I might actually have that. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, ho, ho, we are so close. Ah, I need one more cider. Ah, what? No. Please. Wait, let me just check. One part wine, one part blood, three parts cider. So we need one more cider. Um, so we can get that for sure at the six day stilt. Do we have uh, enough water to make a ridiculous journey? Can you imagine, like, one day I'm going to p attempt this run wherein I don't use the overworld map at all. Eventually, one day. Um, but can you imagine not, like, like, oh, I have to go to the six-day stilt now. This is going to take me several episodes. <laughs> Um, 
absolutely absurd. Like, just, like, ridiculous. Yo, lizard friend. Uh, no one understands me. Also, I have glot rot. <laughs> Get it? No one understands me. Snapjaw fort. Isn't a uh, stop spelling always guaranteed to be in a snapjaw fort? Or is that something I made up? Uh, bark armor, bark armor. We're still lost. We may as well, like, commit murder on a mass scale at the snapjaw fort. As long as we're here, we may as well. I mean, it was on our checklist, just, you know, further down along the line. Why are you throwing grenades at me, though? That's not cool. At least we're not on a timeline anymore. You know, the worst part about getting Glot Rot is the dread of possibly getting rot, glot rot like you when you see that sore throat you're like oh no oh no it's coming eventually we are gonna have like you just like trying your best give me the yuck wheat stem give me the honey give me the star apple jam and the and the vine wafer sheaf try it cram it down your sore throat do everything you can didn't work. Oh god. Okay, we. Uh, I don't know how much time we have left. We have like two days left, maybe, if we're lucky. Two days later, still have it. No, any second now, you don't know. It's just like the anxiety of like possibly having glot rot is actually worse than having glot rot, especially as an amphibian. Yo, there's a dude right there. I'm gonna kill him out of pure principle. Because I just hate those guys. So much. They are like some of my least favorite enemy in the game. Novice to the sightless way. Uh, more like nerd boy. Nerd boy. That's, that's what they are. They're nerds. Imagine um, like... Wanting to be part of the sightless way that just what what an absolute what a what a the worst fan club of all time honestly Except for maybe the templus uh, the tempest pewter We found another ruin which I am going to ignore right now All right making our way downtown every single tile is a dram drunk so that's no good. Okay, so um, we need to find someone who will sell us some cider. This It could be this person right here. Nope. Oh, yep. Never mind. They've got it. Solid. We will rid ourselves of this vile disease. Um, we need more. You know what? Time to sell our cured Don Glider. Tails. All right, um, and now we need to get some blood. Best way to get some blood? Just go ahead. Go ahead and walk on the spines. Now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, so we got, so it's one part cider. Let me just, you, you gotta make sure. I like to triple, quadruple check, because if you do it wrong, then oh, bummer. Um. Uh, one part wine, one part blood, three part cider. All right, so we're gonna pour, well, that's two drams of wine. I know you don't have to be exact about this, but I'd rather be exact about this. One dram, so we're splitting two drams into one, or into one dram each, then we're gonna do one, um, dram of blood into another container and that's going to be the one dram of wine do you want to empty the water skin first no 
Lordy, I wish this was a little bit easier. And now we're going to do two drams. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour them into the other dram, uh, container of cider. And then I'm going to pour all of that into the bloody wine. No, I don't want to empty it. I, I hate that there's like an accidental button you can press to completely undo this. And then we have to set this thing on fire. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I think last time I went ahead and dropped it on a campfire until it was flaming. Did I just drop it? Oh, okay. It might be, like, if I stand here, I do raise in temperature, yes? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to drop the bloody lush cider here until I see that it is flaming. Kind of a dangerous thing to do. Alright. And now we drink. It tastes even worse than you had imagined, like a dead turtle boiled in phlegm. You flush with the warming draught. It has a metallic taste. It is spicy and delicious. You are now sated. And we have cured our glot rod. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. And I'm going to fight the fire here. Why? Well, because we might get glot rot again one day. Okay. Alright. Damaged, but okay. We have cured our glot rot. Unfortunately, we still have a, uh, a missing tongue to consider, but we'll have to worry about that in the next episode. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode with me fighting Glotrot. I, uh, if you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.